ओके गाइस सो दिस वाज़ अ वेरी फर्स्ट यूनिट ऑफ इंटरनेशनल ट्रेड बेटा वेर इन यू टॉकिंग अबाउट थियोरीज ऑफ इंटरनेशनल ट्रेड आई टोल्ड यू इंटरनेशनल ट्रेड इज एक्सचेंज ऑफ गुड्स एंड सर्विसेज इट इज बेटा एक्सचेंज ऑफ रिसोर्सेज बिटवीन टू कंट्रीज इट डिफर्स सिग्निफिकेंटली बेटा फ्रॉम इंटरनल ट्रेड बिकॉज देर आर मोर कॉम्प्लेक्सिटीज इन्वॉल्व इन इंटरनेशनल ट्रेड देर इज हेटरोजेनिटी एज सच गाइज ऑफ कंज्यूमर्स द कंज्यूमर बिहेवियर इज नॉट सेम देर आर टू डिफरेंट करेंसीज इन्वॉल्व दे कैन भी डिफरेंट पोलिटिकल सिस्टम डिफरेंट लीगल सिस्टम इलाबरेट डॉक्यूमेंटेशन गाइज दे विल भी ऑब्वियसली बेटा एक्सचेंज रेट रिस्क बेटा देर बी गवर्नमेंट इंटर venture in the form of duties tariffs whatever trade barriers guys so there are more complexities involved in international trade guys so we spoke about the arguments beta in support of international trade we spoke about the arguments against international trade as such beta talking i did not give you much notes in relation to arguments in support of international trade and against international trade i told you beta that you can always refer to the material that we have guys uh, that i gave you the first argument beta in support of international trade beta is that international trade contributes to efficiency guys higher efficiency beta because you have a higher amount of competition the domestic players now have to compete against global players you will obviously guys improve your productivity you will invest in technology guys you will have a uh, much better labor you will train your labor so this will automatically improve the efficiency of operations guys second one beta is that obviously it will give you access to new markets and new uh, materials as such guys you can procure components globally beta wherever it is cheaper the consumers have wider choice of uh, products to be purchased from as a country beta you will start investing in research and development guys as a country you will start investing in your skill development of the employees otherwise beta your country will become redundant in the long run there is a better relation beta between nations it will also result in inflow of foreign domestic investment guys this will result in more economic growth more employment opportunities these are all arguments in favor of international trade but then there are arguments against international trade guys it says beta that if you invest way too much in technology if you invest way too much in automation as such beta then your employment opportunities will reduce unskilled jobs and semi skilled jobs beta will go away from the market all the employees beta should be made skilled so this might affect countries as such beta with lower skilled workers and then beta trade may not be balanced as such guys may not be balanced between two countries one nation would have a upper hand the other nation beta would have a lower hand as such guys exports can lead to unsustainable production you are producing way too much beta exploiting all your natural resources which is not good beta in the long run the consumer behavior can change due to international trade beta what if domestic consumers start giving a lot of preference to imported goods and they not and they will not consume domestic goods so this will have an impact on your economic activity let us not forget beta that imports are a leakages this will reduce your economic activity then there but is then there is but a lack of transparency there is lack of transparency as such guys when you say lack of transparency as such beta two nations might not share all the details it might result to conflict between nations there can be shift of resources beta from meeting your own domestic needs guys and you shifting it to exports and then beta there is risky dependence of underdeveloped countries on foreign nations i told you the example of china beta here then guys important theories of international trade as such guys we obviously have to import goods that we cannot produce but why do we import goods beta that we can produce or we are actually producing it right now is international trade beneficial is it beneficial to engage in international trade there are a lot of questions to be answered this is answered beta by five theories that we discuss five theories beta there is a mercantilist theory there is theory of absolute advantage theory of comparative advantage and then beta the hcho theory hcher olin theory and then there is the new trade theory ntt guys so all of these theories are basically trying to these question are uh, basically trying to answer these questions only beta the very first theory beta that we have is the mercantilist theory of international trade mercantilist theory of international trade beta is the only theory that tells you that international trade is a zero sum game it says beta that international trade will never be mutually beneficial the gain of one nation will be the loss of other nation so they believe in maximizing nation's wealth guys by exporting more and more goods and bringing in precious metal currency guys that is gold and silver and reducing your imports beta by imposing heavy tariffs on imports this is the whole view beta of the mercantilist theory theek hai it says one nation's gain is equal to the other nation's loss it is a zero sum game there will not be any increase in net wealth of all the nations put together guys international trade will never be mutually beneficial it is beneficial to one party it is not beneficial to the other party so that is why maximize exports minimize imports this is the whole funda guys of mercantilist theory of international trade all right all right sir then there is theory of absolute advantage guys given by adam smith theory of absolute advantage states guys that international trade beta can be mutually beneficial for this beta it will depend upon your absolute advantage 
it says one country beta may have an absolute advantage in the production of one commodity the other country may have an absolute advantage beta in the production of other commodity so in whichever commodity you have absolute advantage in beta you have to specialize in that commodity manufacture that uh, commodity beta meet your domestic needs as also export it and guys whichever commodity in which you do not have absolute advantage in as such beta you'll have to import that commodity you will have to import that commodity there was an example that we did beta with the uh, with the help of wheat and cloth beta in this uh, particular question in this particular question but let us not forget beta that this theory uh, assumes that labor is the only factor of production and then there are no reasons specified as to why different countries have different absolute advantages why different countries have absolute ad absolute advantages in the manufacturing of different products no explanation for that point but summary kya yaad rakhna is theory ka you one country will have absolute advantage in one product the other country will have absolute advantage in the other product they will have to engage in the trade of these products they will have to engage in the trade of these products this is the summary of this theory guys perfect sir but this theory beta fails to answer the uh, fails to answer guys one situation that is what if one country has absolute advantage in both the products what if one country beta has absolute advantage in both the products and what is that what is that uh, you know guys what are we supposed to do in that situation this is what is answered beta in the next theory called as the theory of comparative advantage beta given by david ricardo so this theory of comparative advantage states guys that international trade can still be mutually beneficial guys even if one country even if one country has absolute advantage in manufacturing of both the products and the other country has absolute disadvantage guys in manufacturing of both the products to know guys how can they engage in mutually beneficial trade beta you will have to compute comparative advantage this is beta by checking जो भी कंट्री को कंपैरेटिव एब्सोल्यूट डिसएडवांटेज है बेटा इन विच प्रोडक्ट डू दे हैव अ हायर एब्सोल्यूट डिसएडवांटेज इन विच प्रोडक्ट डू दे हैव अ लोअर एब्सोल्यूट डिसएडवांटेज इन विच एवर प्रोडक्ट बेटा दे हैव अ लोअर एब्सोल्यूट डिसएडवांटेज गाइस लोअर एब्सोल्यूट डिसएडवांटेज दे विल हैव टू मैन्युफैक्चर दैट प्रोडक्ट गाइस एंड इंपोर्ट द अदर प्रोडक्ट इन विच दे हैव अ हायर एब्सोल्यूट डिसएडवांटेज lower absolute disadvantage jisme bhi hai they will have to export that product manufacture and specialize and export that product in whichever product beta they have a higher absolute disadvantage they will have to import that product isliye isko bolte theory of comparative advantage we took an example beta even here do not forget to go through that example in which we proved in which beta we proved that it was mutually beneficial in spite of one country having absolute advantage guys in the manufacturing of both the products manufacturing of both the products as such guys again beta the drawback of this theory beta was that we are considering only labor guys as a factor of production labor as a factor of production we have no explanation as to why these countries have different uh, you know guys comparative uh, cost different comparative advantage they say beta that one company uh, one country has lower labor efficiency but why is it having different labor efficiency guys for wheat and different labor efficiency for cloth matlab wo reason nahi diya hua hai beta there is no reason given also guys what if what if beta one country has the same amount of absolute disadvantage in respect of both the products no uh, we cannot use this theory we cannot use this theory to a certain extent beta this theory was modified to a certain extent i also spoke about the range of negotiation guys kahan se kitna range kar sakte do not forget to go through this range of negotiation as well to a certain extent as such beta there was a modification made to this theory beta by habeller he replaced the concept of labor cost as such beta by the concept of opportunity cost he says forget labor cost opportunity cost is a quantity of the other product that you will have to forego to manufacture one a uh, quantity one unit of the other product guys so he says beta in whichever product a country has lower opportunity cost they have to specialize in that product in that product let the other country specialize in the other product so that beta will give us a mutually beneficial solution understood sir to overcome the drawbacks of this theory beta we had the next theory ho theory beta hoxher olin hoxher beta olin theory of trade now this theory is also known as your factor endowment theory or beta known as a modern theory of trade There, there was a contribution made by Paul A. Samuelson, guys, to this theory. That is why people started calling this theory as the S H O theory, also, guys. अब ये theory क्या बोलता है बेटा? This theory primarily tells you that the whole concept of comparative advantage or cost advantage depends on factor endowments. That is the availability of resources, guys. Man-made resources, natural resources. availability of resources higher availability of resource would lead to lower cost of that resource in a particular country however the discussion was restricted to only two factors of production that is capital and labor higher availability of capital in one country guys would lead to lower cost of capital in that country higher availability of labor in another country beta would lead to lower cost of labor in that country 
so it says guys if you are capital abandoned country manufacture capital intensive products guys export those products and import labor intensive products if you are labor abandoned country guys manufacture labor intensive products guys and import capital intensive products this theory guys basically has two components beta two theorems h o trade theorem jo main abhi bola जो अभी बोला बेटा मैं दादा वन बेटा इज फैक्टर प्राइस इक्वलाइजेशन थियोरम गाइस व्हिच वाज कंट्रीब्यूटेड बाय सैमुएलसन बस हेचो ट्रेड थियोरम क्या बोलता है बेटा यू विल हैव टू स्पेशलाइज इन दैट प्रोडक्ट व्हिच रिक्वायर्स यूज ऑफ योर अबैंडन्ड रिसोर्सेस एंड इंपोर्ट दैट प्रोडक्ट व्हिच रिक्वायर्स यूज ऑफ योर स्कैर्स रिसोर्सेस फैक्टर प्राइस इक्वलाइजेशन थियोरम बेटा स्टेट्स दैट प्रोडक्ट मोबिलिटी बिकम्स अ परफेक्ट सब्स्टिट्यूट बेटा फॉर फैक्टर मोबिलिटी लेबर ऑफ वन कंट्री कैन नॉट गो टू द अदर कंट्री कैपिटल ऑफ वन कंट्री कैन नॉट कम टू द अदर कंट्री कैन नॉट बी ट्रांसफर टू द अदर कंट्री सो इट सेज बेटा बट यू आर स्टिल एंगेजिंग इन इंटरनेशनल ट्रेड यू आर स्टिल एंगेजिंग इन इंटरनेशनल ट्रेड सो वट हैपन्स बेटा इज एज अ लेबर इंटेंसिव इंडस्ट्री बेटा स्पेशलाइज इन लेबर इंटेंसिव प्रोडक्ट्स मैनुफैक्चर्स मोर एंड मोर प्रोडक्ट्स द डिमांड फॉर लेबर विल इंक्रीज अ सच गाइज रिजल्टिंग इन एन इंक्रीज इन लेबर कॉस्ट इन द अदर कंट्री बेटा विच इज नॉट मैनुफैक्चरिंग labor intensive products the demand for labor will keep reducing resulting in reduction in wages so this is where better the factor prices will equalize the factor prices will equalize understood understood sir this theory beta again assumes that there are only two countries two products two factors of production the country is operating in full employment level as such guys so oh yahan pe bhi assumptions to hai hi hai beta last theory beta is the new trade theory guys which is basically trying to understand why developed and large economies are trade partners in spite of their trading in certain goods and services so these developed guys economies or big economies wants to produce more and more beta because what will happen by producing more and more beta is their economies of scale because of economies of scale the cost per unit will reduce guys and because of network network effects the utility to people will increase and they will manufacture even more so indirectly beta they are creating a monopolistic competition they are creating a monopolistic market as such guys that is a new trade theory understood understood that's the end of this beta of course we spoke about comparison of theory of comparative advantage with the ho theory theek hai i am stopping the revision part beta here we still have a little more to go but the revision part ends here